The following video will demonstrate how to raise and or lower individual surfaces in a site modeler project. As you can see here, I have an existing surface that is displayed as, my, as the base of my active site. I also have created two surfaces here and here that represent pads that I have created. If we take a look here at pad 1, you can see that the elevation of the pad is 305. Likewise with pad 2, the elevation is also 305. In this example, we're going to lower the elevation of pad 2 to 303 and raise the elevation of pad 1 to 310. So let's work first with pad 1. We will set that one active. Then we'll go to the command Site Modeler, Surface, Raise, Lower. You can see that pad 1 is active and we're going to raise that 5 feet. Click Apply and you can see that the contours update. Next we're going to work with pad 2 and we're going to lower the elevation of pad 2 to 303 so we'll type in negative 2 and click apply. From this point we can export the three surfaces, the existing and the two pads, to an inroads DTM. Because they're all contained within the same site, we can use the command Site Modeler, Site Tools, Create Surface. We will create from our surface here, or our site, which is Test. We'll give it a surface name and click Apply and Close. Let's go ahead and close our Site Modeler project. Delete these two elements that are remaining. If we then display our contours by, for the proposed final by going to Surface, View Surface, Contours, I'm going to change our interval to 1 and click Apply. You can see that the DTN that has been created is a combination of the three surfaces that were created in SiteModeler.